<laughs> Day one of that? becoming a pro climber. Again. <laughs> Again. From the top. No, 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 this is, this is the first day. This is the only yeah. day we tried. We try it. it hasn't been years. <laughs> it hasn't Every been. day we just keep going. Day one, day one. still going. <laughs> yeah. We're we're making good progress. <laughs> Twelve years later for yeah. us, <laughs> just like the day one and everything. Day one, first time <laughs> trying to climb. Kind of nervous. <laughs> kind of nervous. <laughs> All right. So today I'm with Yvonne. What's up? <laughs> you know him from the Montreal comp video and then... What's your favorite movie? Go. Um, Minions, Rise of Groot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so fast. We climbed that Rock Haven and then Dino Comp, I think. That was the other uh, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yvonne and I were kind of talking that um, it could be pretty cool to do a little bit different videos where we can kind of take you along the journey of kind of like the nitty gritty stuff about what goes on with comp climbing so that hopefully you can learn and if you're going through these things as well it can help you try and be comp climbers so let's do everything we do <laughs> yeah so this is how to become a pro comp climber <laughs> yeah. pro comp climber in 10 days <laughs> yeah that's gonna be the thumbnail <laughs> in five minutes <laughs> yeah. it'll be like those like flip videos like how to do a backflip in five minutes <laughs> yeah. So today our plan is to go look for climbing shoes because we're kind of having a discussion the other day or something about just ways that we can improve on like our climbing abilities or just like our comp climbing abilities specifically and seeing what we can do, what we can do in the future for comps um, based off of how we felt with the competitions that we did go to and stuff. So yeah, I think we're just gonna look for shoes. What, what type of shoes are you looking for? Um. Well, my shoes are broken right now, so I don't really have any other options. <laughs> but I'll probably look <laughs> like shoes just for something that's that comfortable. Um, I feel like my last ones took like a long time to break in, and were probably a bit too small. That's probably why they got holes so quickly as well. So, just something that's comfortable, but also a snug fit, and maybe even look for two pairs to alternate between and just buy one for today, but eventually have like one that's more oriented toward technical footwork and then one that's softer oriented towards like volume slash dynamic climbing styles. All right. I'm kind of in the similar boat. Like right now I have my Gomis, um, which are much more like soft rubber. And if you guys saw my previous video where I talked about just my solutions to different issues that I came across during the Montreal comp, kind of talked about wanting potentially a couple shoes that I could flip between depending on the route that we're specifically going to climb. So I think I'm going to look at what type of harder rubber shoes there are today. Um, I don't really have the money to buy them right now, but at least I can just get the idea. But Yvonne and I just found out that uh, we can climb at least like three grades harder if we eat uh, Subway, so. Yeah, you just need to get a bigger sandwich. <laughs> yeah. It's just simple math. <laughs> Yeah. It just translates. That's how it works. It's pretty. It, it like doesn't use the metric system. Right. It's like its own sandwich system. So it, it just kind of crosses over a broad range of different things. So, so expect sandwich vlogs in the near future. <laughs> it'll it'll be a new thing, a new series. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> Let's wait as it passes by. Right. Ready? Yes, sir. Like, where do we even begin? <laughs> should we, like, I don't know, maybe we should have done, like, a little research. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're just looking at a wall of shoes. <laughs> For how long we've been climbing, we don't actually know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've never, like, seen these in my life. But I don't know if they're any good. But they're vegan, though, so. Yeah. I think I'll just have these ones. <laughs> I think I'll just go with one of these. Imagine you show up to the top like that. What would they do if you like actually climbed? I mean, if you start oh, sending, no. I feel like they'd cry. Just camp. <laughs> that went well. That went great. <laughs> so, 
Yvonne and I do not know what we're <laughs> Somehow we're doing. we've been climbing for over a decade and we don't know anything. Do you want to become a pro climber? <laughs> because at least how, I mean you were kind of mentioning it, but how I do my shoes is that I just try on a bunch until I find yeah. one that I like and then I use that for years to go. Right. <laughs> until I try on another one that I like and I'm like, oh, this one's a lot more sick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like, just like now reflecting, I feel like honestly that might be part of the reason that I've kind of like plateaued a little bit in my climbing. <laughs> it's like, I don't know anything about like any of the gear or routines, yeah. like, like stretching or like, you know, like ground warm ups. Like I was probably also looking for like a tension block too today, right. um, which is something that I've never used before. I don't know anything about like equipment and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, I guess what we're trying to get right. do now, I would say. <laughs> and I think too, like, I think if people who know us or like know like how we climb or how long we've been climbing, like I hope this helps you understand that we're also learning as we're making this. You right. know? It doesn't really matter how long you've been climbing, but um, there's always room to grow. So hopefully Definitely. being more open about that and not just pretending like we do know anything or everything exactly. will, will make it more connectable. So yeah, so this, yeah. the dude is bringing out our shoes right now. We just told, we just told him eight half nine. Yeah. Any shoe you want. Comp, comp shoes. Yeah, comp shoes. If, you know, yeah. if you can find yeah, them. Yeah. The official one. <laughs> Could I get the day one pro climber yeah. shoes, please? To forty two on this range. Um. Which are... sure. This is best for like sizing you I guess because we have okay. them in both that you were asking for on the yeah. Las Portivas and then got the Dragos which are like a pretty popular competitive shoe um, and then I got you the you said you wanted the solutions right yeah standard um, we got these in like every size sick I guess like but ooh, that's tough because that those look really um, like a good hard rubber, but then right. But do you want rubber my, on the top because it's laces? That too. Or? And like I don't know if this will, you know, like a lot of comp climbing will be like volume climbing too. Right. So you don't want it to be like a sharp point in that case. Mm -hmm. You want it to be like have a big flat surface for your foot. Right. I guess we could do the old one foot has one, the other foot has the other. Yeah. <laughs> I've only done that one time. I mean, but I know they'll also break in too. After a little bit, it'll become softer. It'll still have the tight fit, but it'll be more of more like surface area and more flexibility a little mm -hmm. bit, so that your foot can like fit to the shape of the volume rather than like just mold to it. All yeah, yeah, exactly. Go with a Velcro one then a lace, then a lace one. one, just because you know it's kind of like an obstruction. A little bit. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's just one thing that I could take away that's like kind of unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It would just, you know, maybe benefit from a Velcro one for the right. comps. That's the thing too, like when we're making all these like little adjustments, like we're trying to minimize like the chances of being uncomfortable, minimize the chances of us falling. It's not necessarily getting different shoes because or like using it as an excuse like that's why we fell or whatever it's more of like what can give us that little extra edge right extra edge edge <laughs> yeah edge. edge climber reference you think I yeah. day one of climbing step one use climbing lingo <laughs> yeah I'm about to send that email <laughs> <laughs> like at least you can tell it has some backing because they're showing like what these pro climbers are wearing and you can see them wearing them in the pictures right literally all of them are some version of the solutions, solutions. like I mean, even adamandra oh. had them on yeah so the top one is solution comp 
then solution comp women's, then solution, solution women's, and then another La Sportiva shoe. The theory, they're all La Sportiva, Same. so that might be. Dragos. And then finally it's Scarpa, so that may be a sign. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe the solutions are probably pretty good. Just something, yeah, solutions yeah. or something very similar. Mm -hmm. Like I see these blue ones up here are one of the ones on the list, so I might try that. Too. Right. The hardest part is getting the size for sure. Definitely. And mm -hmm. just finding like a shoe that fits your foot because yeah. everyone has different feet. Right. And also, sometimes people have feet that are different sizes. You know? Yeah. That too. Oh wait, this actually fits nice. super well. Yeah. So I got the <laughs> solutions, the La Sportiva solutions, like the normal version, because there's the comp version as well. And it's, I, I think a lot of people have this. Doesn't Isaac have these? So Isaac has, I think, the women's comp version. Okay. Yeah. I think there's something to do with like the heel. Smaller in the women's side, oh, okay. which like fits his foot better, I right? Guess. So I tried this shoe a long time ago, and I also felt weird about the heel. Okay. Um, yeah, like that's already coming off. So I think I definitely need to go smaller yeah. at least. And I think that's the hardest part of like yeah. trying to find the shoes and that's why it takes so long is because the sizes are all whack. Like it doesn't just transfer over to like normal street yeah. shoe sizes. So you just have to like sit here, dedicate like an hour, yeah. literally, and exactly. just like try on a bunch of shoes. I think ideally we'd have like, I would find a shoe that I can maybe even keep on the entire time during the yeah. comp. Or maybe you have to take it off like one time for like five minutes, mm -hmm. but I don't want something that I have to take off for 10 minutes or more just because they're like too tight, right? And at that point you're like wasting time. Almost, right, you're maybe. wasting time yeah. and all of that. Yeah. Just to keep in mind. Little things. I actually really like them though. They're actually yeah. really comfortable. Well, that's good. I would keep like yeah. that in mind. Mm -hmm. Maybe take a picture with your phone, which one? True, ones? <laughs> true. Just take a picture of the box. And the thin strap is getting me a little bit. Just like, it almost feels like I don't want to tighten it all the way. Oh, so it might break. Right. But I like, it does feel like it fits my foot like perfectly, yeah. almost. Which is really what I'm going mm -hmm. I know, even when I tried mine on, it seemed like it was pretty conformed right. to the foot. Yeah, there's no part of the foot that just like has a gap or something. Yeah. That can pair it something because yeah. like, look at the toe. That's um, not very pointy. It's no. super round and it's almost like bulged in the opposite way from like aggressive shoes. So, <laughs> wait. Well, like. Is that I true? Know. So I guess like, like I really like the gummies and I think that's gonna be my softer shoe, but like maybe this yeah. one will be. Like could be your soft shoe. Is this also like a 40 and a half? So the like rubber does not go all the way around on these, which um, I think just could be a slight disadvantage to not be able to use that part of your foot as solidly um, as if it were rubber compared to whatever this is. <laughs> sort of a fabric thing. Yeah. yeah, so like that's all not even rubber. And then also, um, it's not solid rubber either. Even where there is rubber, there's kind of like a seam. Right. Which just makes it less solid and connected. Yeah. It can move around a lot of fields. Right. Like. Step one of being a pro climber. Day 31 of step one of becoming a pro climber. <laughs> yeah. We're back again here at the climb climbing store. Still on step one. <laughs> is probably one of the most difficult steps, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest. Like, basically after this one step, we're on step yeah. 40. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might be at work. Call has been forwarded no. to an automatic... Come on, Jonathan. Yeah. Is that Jonathan? Hello? Hello, sir. Jonathan, you're... I'm with Yvonne. Okay. Um, 
you're I'm videotaping right now so I think the camera can hear you because you're on speaker oh. and, <laughs> are you guys what are you guys recording so we're getting new shoes or figuring out what shoes we want for like comps and stuff okay. and perfect time. <laughs> so I thought so I thought I'd call the the shoe master and get some get some insight for us so okay well, are you what? <laughs> in the back yeah. We're at backcountry. You're kind of breaking up. So I'm in a basement right now, calling you on Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even surprised you're in a basement right now. You're probably like <laughs> practicing your crack climbing or something with the wide boys. I was doing some hand. That's what. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. And I want more of a harder shoe to pair with my gomies. Cool, yeah, good, good talk. Thank you so much. That, <laughs> that was so helpful. Oh, I like what yeah, he said. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's actually really good. Um, super you insightful. Could you repeat that one more time? Yeah, I could just say that one. for the camera. <laughs> yeah, no. You said the boots? The ski boots? <laughs> Maybe he'll move out of the basement <laughs> no. this time. He's like, I'm on what? <laughs> He's like, I'm trapped. <laughs> Yeah, I heard. I am now no longer in the basement. <laughs> Sick, cool. So you escaped the the basement. So, Yvonne wants pretty all-around comp shoes. I want probably like harder rubber shoes that could pair well with my gomies. Yeah. Um, what you think? Well, what, are, what are some things that come to your mind? So for you, do you want like a shoe to pair with your gomies for everything or for comp specifically? Um, more for comps, specifically like, I want something that I can tow in on pretty small stuff. Cause I can't really do that with the yeah. gummies. Okay, well you should probably just get like, any flat, stiff edging shoe. They're all pretty similar. Um, I have the Unparalleled, uh, Uprise. Those are really good. They're very similar to like a 510 Anasazi. Um, they're about the same thing. Those are both great. You could get the Scarpa has one. I don't remember if it's the Booster or the Boost Stick, but those two shoes that are named very similar are exact opposites of each other. So you'll have to just look at them and see which one it is. Cool, cool. Uh, I think they carry both of those in backcountry. Um, okay. What is Yeah. What is your opinion about the solutions? Solutions? Uh, they're not stiff enough for what you want if you're looking for like a stiff shoe to stand on small edges but okay. like solutions are like mildly stiff you know they're stiffer than like a squama they're stiffer than a gomi right. you know the problem with solutions is that they're pretty downturned and so if you're looking to stand on really small stuff you're not going to want the downturn as much unless you're in like a really steep situation okay. um yeah they're good for that kind of stuff too uh solutions are like slightly more of an all-arounder then it sounds like what you're looking for. So it might be more um, good for like Yvonne? No, it's not enough of an all-arounder for Yvonne. Like Yvonne, if he's looking for an all-arounder for comps, like a Drago would be great. Like a, uh, the unparalleled TN Pros are great. The unparalleled Regulus is great. Um, you can get a Squama. That's much more of an all-arounder than a solution is. Squamas are really classic ones. It's probably the most popular all-arounder on the market right now. Yeah, but like Squamas or Dragos, depending on if you want slightly stiffer or slightly softer, um, would probably be the two most popular options for what he's looking for. Which would be the stiffer one? Squamas are stiffer. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're both pretty sick. It would probably be like, whichever one fits your foot better, because they do fit pretty differently. Squamas have a way bigger heel than Drago's do, and they're also a little bit more roomy in like the toe box foot area, you know? So one of them will fit you and one of them won't fit you most likely. Okay. Um, so you'll probably have to try them on. Yeah, That's those are both great shoes though. Right. And then the other popular ones would be like anything with the word comp after, you know, like solution comps are great. Okay. Um, that's a really popular one these days. It's like a softer solution, basically, with like different toe hook rubber. And then the acro comps, those are good too if they fit your foot. They fit kind of weird though, so might not fit you. Acro. Tora acro. Tora acro. Okay. Yeah, I guess like the, the 
upgrade you. The one thing I like about the squamas better is the strap because you can. I feel uh -huh. like I can pull them tighter compared yeah, to the like, thin little like strap looped around twice on the solutions, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Yeah, the solution strap is weird. I don't right. know if it does the same strap as the old solution with like the Z strap or whatever. Yeah, that's that what thing it is. is. Trash. Yeah. Dude, that's... that thing snaps on everybody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Always the first thing to that's go on the, the solution. That's the one I. That's the one we're thing I'm worried about. Talking about. Yeah. Thanks for like all the. Yeah. Input. I was no like. Problem. I was, was like. A lot, I know a guy. A lot of information. <laughs> oh, I know a, lot a of guy. Good information. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you want to say anything to the, your fans? My fans. Make oh, fun man. of us for how little we know about shoes. No. Say something clever. You guys know way more than most people, I'm sure. <laughs> mm, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Not so sure about yeah. that. Do you have any I work? have nothing to say to my fans. What? Uh, they miss you. I know. They miss your they high miss pitch. They miss me. I wish I could come down to Eugene. I just have too many injuries right now to climb, so I feel kind of silly just coming down. You Dang, know? man. But, yeah. I'll, I'll be I'll be rehabbed soon, and then I'll come back and film Bryce do some stuff. <laughs> film Bryce send our freedom. Yeah, dude, it it's gonna go down. This I know I keep saying it, but I feel I, I feel the most prepared that I've ever been. Men's and women's, and they're not any different. So just get the coolest color. Get the coolest color climbing shoe. Step one. Yeah. You can't hear that. Look cool on the wall. Okay, so we just left the climbing store backcountry. Um, we didn't purchase any shoes because we're still kind of deciding and after hearing I think what Jonathan kind of told us to um, we're not totally sure which ones we want um, we we're already there for like an hour and a half maybe yeah or something. yeah and we we brought to the counter like 20 boxes of shoes and stuff so well, like three grand worth of shoes. <laughs> yeah, literally. About. So I think we're gonna kind of just like take what we learned and kind of reassess and, and just come back another day, which we might have a video or some clips or something from that. But um, I'm kind of leaning towards either solutions or um, potentially trying the unparallel. Um, which ones were you thinking of? The Squamas or the uh, solution comps, yeah. I think. Right. I think we're just kind of like leaning towards one of those and stuff, but yeah, like as you can tell, we're we're both kind of unsure too, and I don't think we we're just kind of talking about. It, I don't think there's a reason to rush these things, and especially like those people that are working there are getting paid to help you out, so don't feel discouraged to have them bring you 30 shoes if you want. So I think that's the end of the video and stuff. Yeah. I, this is a little bit different of a format, but hopefully we can just have like a mix between like sick edits of us like bouldering hard or something and also more connectable stuff yeah. like this more of like a vlog style but the moral of the story being take your time don't rush yes do take it well do it right mm -hmm. yeah. especially when it costs like two hundred dollars exactly know? yeah and then like yeah just learning from others learning from your past experiences and just trying to make the best decision in the moment um, can help you become a better climber so and do your research true yeah <laughs> i think if we hadn't gotten that call from jonathan i think we would have had a much less educated guess um, <laughs> walking out of the store than we do now right right do your research call upon some friends and find what works best for you because honestly it doesn't matter what you really climb in as long as you can climb like the best that you want to be so sick all right see you guys later peace out day one complete day one. of pro <laughs> trying to become a pro climber i can feel it already i wow, already feel like yeah. yeah as soon as i tried on the third pair of shoes it felt yeah. I felt like I climbed it's five grades harder. Growing. <laughs> My form just got up. so much bigger after that.